Welcome back to Travel Show Live. There's one person that you will see walking around downtown because he's always out in front of the people. That is the mayor of Charleston. Thank you, sir, for letting us be here today. Nice to be here. Uh, what do people not know about this town? Well, there's another Charleston, and it's uh, a really nice city. It's the state capital of West Virginia, and it um, has a uniqueness all its own. It has a river that runs right through the middle of it that, if you didn't know, was there impresses anybody that sees it. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, it's a town that uh, people uh, uh, grow up in and care about each other. It has, I think it had the first downtown mall uh, in the country. Uh, really? A big urban mall, which is very close to this, and it was kind of a new deal. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, um, it, it, I was there through the urban renewal part of it, and when they put the interstates in, and I watched Charleston change dramatically in my lifetime. And, we had a lot of people that looked uh, forward and planned for the big changes. Some some cities didn't, mm -hmm. and uh, this one did, and we've survived, I think, because of it. Mm -hmm. Now, because we have interstates that don't run around the city but run through them, people, um, we had some flight, mm -hmm. but people still work in Charleston. Our population balloons during the day, mm -hmm. and we have a, a civic center. We have a lot of groups that come here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an active tourist business. And uh, we, um, we have, we're the only city in the country that can close a four-lane highway for a car show. And we do. And you do. We do. <laughs> As the mayor, what keeps you up at night? I, I, I'm, all, I'm always curious. Well, uh, a mayor? For you. Oh, for you. I would say uh, just the uh, everyday operations. Police. Police would be number one. Yeah. We had one that was killed within the last year. Mm hmm And... Um, just, just the every floods. We, we, there are some floods. We've had a flood. I, I came into office in 2003, and there was a flood, and it was it was on the edge of the city, mm -hmm. and most of the floods are on the outside of the city. Mm -hmm. But we look at that, and uh, but actually, um, I'm I'm um, an old dude with some very young kids, and my kids keep me awake at night. <laughs> very good. You mentioned the police because I noticed as we were walking around. It appears to be a relatively safe place to walk around, like I safe and clean. Clean, and, yeah. Um, it, um, it 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 does. And if you walk through the mall with me, you'll you'll share my enjoyment of what it's like to be a mayor of a city you 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 never left mm -hmm. and you uh, chose to invest your life in. And it was kind of a gift to me that I was born here and stayed here. And and it's a gift that uh, that I would be elected. Uh, uh, mayor of my hometown. I think it's it's a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. And the genuine friendliness of the locals. We you can tell when they're in the mall because they um, we had a sorority not too long ago and they all carried red pocketbooks. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew to Alexis Herman was part of that. For Clinton's former labor secretary. So I was able to work the mall and greet almost all of them. Mm -hmm. Starbucks is right in the middle of the mall, and, and I'll be sitting there. And if I see three or four people go come up to buy coffee and they don't know me. Mm -hmm. They're not from here. They're not from here. <laughs> and I'll, I'll walk up and start a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Have you ever broken out into song or dance? No, mm -hmm. but I can, I can cut a rug. Yeah, I know you can. Yeah. Thank you, sir. But, all right. I appreciate this. Sure. Appreciate it. We'll continue. Sure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.